Hey everybody, it's Jen. <laughs> Thanks for coming back to Webhead 2.0. This is our next video tutorial and today we're going to be talking about how to insert photos, videos, music onto your blog as well as creating links on your blog. So why photos, videos, and music? Well, face it, we're an ADD society and we need it. We need it not to be bored. We need the pop, we need the color, we need the glam, we need the bling. It's just how we are. If not, we get bored, we walk away, and we go to somebody else's site who's more interesting. More things to look at, more oohs and ahs. So, we want oohs and ahs. We want to keep our readers happy and excited and content. Um, create, creating links. Uh, ba basically, when we're on our site and we're writing our blog, there might be some links we want to link to other sites. Maybe where we found that photo, maybe where we got this information. And we can do it by highlighting a word and connecting a URL to it. Okay, so let's go back to our admin page. Um, remember, it's your URL forward slash WP slash admin. Okay, now you may go to a login site, so put in your password, your username, all that fun stuff. We're going to go into writing a new blog. Now you can also edit uh, an existing blog that you may not have put a photo in. You can do manage your existing posts as well. But right now we're going to do a new blog called How to Insert Media and Create Links in Your WordPress Blog. Alright, so how do we do that? Well, <laughs> we make sure that our cursor is in the body where the text is going to be. And here are all the icons we're going to be using, the add media icons. One's add image, add video, add music. It's all very self-explanatory. Okay, and wherever your cursor is, that's where your photo is going to land. And just remember that. Okay, so this is the window that comes up. Pretty standard. You've done this a gazillion times, I'm sure. Click Browse. Go to a folder, a designated folder that you put all your photos in for your blog. Much easier that way. Click on a blog. I'm sorry, a photo. Uh, double click, or you can highlight and click open. Okay, and it's in there. Click Upload. Okay, and it'll load onto your site. And there it is. That's all the information. Keyboard Green 5 is what you called it in your, in your folder. It's a JPEG, and that's the date you put it in. Now, the title, you want to probably change that, because wherever the cursor is on that photo, a little box comes up, and that's what you're going to see. So whatever's in the title box is what's going to show up when people put their cursor over that photo. Caption. You want to put a little caption right underneath the photo. That'll show up wherever the photo is. Okay. Description. Self-explanatory. Now that link URL, some of those WordPress themes that are a little more complicated might need this, like mine. Mine is Massive Press, and I have thumbnails on the home page that need to link to the actual blog page. Um, so that's why I need that link URL. You may not, but I'm keeping it there. And uh, down below, alignment, size. So alignment, no alignment left, center, and right. I usually do left, so let's go right. And sizing, thumbnail, medium, or full size. We're not going to write a lot of blogging today, so let's just do a full size and let that picture take up that whole page. Now, if you like that photo, insert it into your blog. Okay. And this is what it's going to look like. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see writing at the bottom of the photo. There's your caption. With the cursor on it, click Enter, and that'll bring your cursor back into the text box where you can start writing your blog if it isn't already written. So you write your blog here, and maybe you want to tell people where you found this amazing photo and give uh, you know a little credit where credit is due. Always good. So I found this photo on Flickr.com. Great place to find images very cool images people post up there all the time fun 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 but how do I link that all right this is how I do it I highlight the word that I want to link or words or phrase that you want to link and then look up here there's an image that says insert edit link alternate shift a now if you make a mistake and you link the wrong thing there is another icon right next to it which is unlink this window comes up Link the URL. What is the URL? You put it right in the box. Flickr.com. Target. 
open link in the same window or open it in a new window. I like opening it in a new window because if you do it in the same window, your site goes bye-bye and they stay on Flickr for the rest of the day. They still might stay on Flickr for the rest of the day, but your site is still open and they can go back to it. Okay. Title. Um, great source for photos. And I usually skip class and want to insert that into my blog and look what we got. Flickr.com is highlighted, underlined, and it's a link now. So when I publish it, it's going to show up like that and people will recognize that as a link. Now don't forget your tags. Put flickr.com in there, your name, your company name, your URL, etc, etc. And your categories. Education, tutorial video, technology, whatever your categories happen to be. Okay. Remember, save, 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 save. You know how many times I've worked so hard and I've lost everything. Ugh. I think everybody has a story like that. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Preview this post. Hey, there it is. Well, I think that picture is a little too big. So I'm going to go back into my administrative page. And how can I edit that? I can click right onto the photo and look. An icon for delete image and an icon for edit image. All right, if that icon goes away for some reason, just click back on the photo. Let's click on edit image and I can resize the picture. I think it's a little bit too big, so we're going to make that a little bit smaller, maybe not at thumbnail size small, but 80% looks good. You also have a chance to change the alignment, but I think we're going to keep it to the right side. Edit the image title, image caption, the link URL. This is another way to get back to the link URL if you need to copy and paste it somewhere else. And let's update that. Okay. Again, don't forget to save. And what you want to do, that was me just saving it. Let's open this page up a little bit more so we can see it. There we go. And let's preview the post again. Yeah, okay. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable. Now, what about videos and audio? If you're ready to publish it, go for it. Basically, you do the same thing. Add video, same kind of window pops up. Add audio, same thing, same process. Okay. So when you're ready, publish that baby, get it out there, and then uh, post it up wherever you can. All right. So that's my little tutorial there. And uh, this is Jen signing off. And hey, please let me know if there's anything else you want to learn, want to see. And I will create another tutorial, and we'll go from there. Have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever the case may be, and I will see you soon. Bye.